Good day, amateur radio operators, shortwave listeners. Let's uh, wanted to um, look at some of the menu options that are available in the Maestro from Flex. So um, the main menu button is this one up here, and it, as you see, has a number of categories down the sidebar. So um, I'm not going to explain each one. That video would be too long. I'm just going to show them to you. And uh, uh, if you have been researching this radio, then you will probably understand what a lot of these settings are. And uh, I might comment on one or two of them here as I pass through. So here are the uh, programmable function buttons that you have across here. And uh, so you can change what those mean. Um, maybe I went too fast. There's the network settings. Um, so you can change the Wi-Fi settings or reset all the stats. I'm directly wired to the radio with an Ethernet cable. That's why I have zero out of, you know, 125,000 packets. When you hook it up this way, it's rock solid. I'm only using slice A. I don't use receive EQ. I don't use transmit EQ. I haven't even looked into what those bias settings mean, or, uh, well, I know what they mean, but I mean um, where they should be set for what reason yet. Transverter is what that means. I don't have one. Profiles. Um, I haven't really set too much up. I've just got uh, a digital and a SO2 our default that came standard. Single operator two radios. Um, again, there's memories that you can set up um, so that uh, when you switch, it really helps you get to your new modes quickly. And GPS, I do not have a GPS on this. So that is the main menu from that guy up there. There's also a little button down here that allows you um, to change these things that are familiar to people who have used the 6000 series with the uh, desktop software. Then there is a um, button over here for the transmit settings and um, so different microphones you can use I use the microphone that is um, plugged into the base unit um, since I'm sitting right beside it and so for mic one I'm using the default uh, hmm, main mic one that's interesting. I thought I had changed that to the uh, default of the... Uh, hmm, I wonder if it didn't save that. Anyway, so that's uh, where all those settings are saved for different microphone profiles. Then if you click up here on the antenna, there are the different um, antenna switches and whether your RF preamp is on or off. Or off. Um, switching, clicking right around here brings up the whole screen for changing bands, changing bandwidths, changing modes, changing your, uh, <clears throat> your basic filters like noise reduction and auto notch. So lots on this screen as well as the record button to start recording a uh, QSO. Um, so that one is uh, really the slice menu, if you will. Um, 
this thing opens up a second slice. So that's what that guy is. that's it for all of the uh, pop-up menus that we have on here so uh, well you can get to that one as well by pressing and holding the, uh, the tuning knob anyway um, that's it for this video 73